Well, I guess this is going to be part three to my uh, European Night series. We uh, we got the skull cleaned up off of it and got all the hide off of it and the meat. Then we boiled it. Uh, we ended up doing three boils and pressure washing it. Cleaned it all up. Now, we just got to get it white and get it pretty looking. So, um, this is going to be a real quick video because there's not much to this. I probably should have just put it in the last video, but uh, it was getting late towards the afternoon and I wanted to get it uploaded. So, anyways, here we are. This right here is, so if you can see that, I'll do a close up of it here in a minute. But this Salon Care 40 volume cream peroxide is what I use. I got this at Sally's Beauty Supply. And um, you could get it at any beauty store. I've never been a beauty supply store guy. So I didn't really, I don't know. I always tried to just go to Walmart and get that cheap peroxide but it didn't work very good. This 40 volume stuff is a whole lot stronger and uh, you kind of have to watch getting it on your clothes or anything. I'd recommend pulling your sleeves up or wearing gloves or whatever. And uh, anyways, I like to use a paintbrush, this one, a smaller one or whatever size you want. Um, what I do is I take a little bit of this. I don't have a whole lot left. It's about to here, but this right here, this one thing right here will probably do you, I don't know, probably 20 deer heads or so. Um, it, la it goes pretty long time for me anyways. It works. But I just pour a little bit along the skull. And you don't want to get any on the antlers because you want to leave that brown dark color, especially on these. They got real dark you want to leave that because that looks the most natural and it looks the best. But I kind of take this and I pretty much just paint it. Paint it on everywhere on a skull that I can get to. And uh, we'll have to do this a couple different times. A couple different coats. Because this one coat won't be enough. And I typically let it set probably um, uh, you could probably just do a few hours, really, and let it kind of sit, and then wash it off, or you ain't even got to wash it off, just put you another coat of this stuff on there, and kind of just keep painting on, until it gets to the desired, uh, whiteness. I mean, if you like yours a little bit off-white, more natural looking, you can leave it like that, but... Really boiling and pressure washing it to me, it gets it pretty white anyways. I mean, it ain't white white, but if you, I mean, you could leave it like this really, and it would look good. But I like them white, and uh, this is what I found. It works the best. Now, one thing I want to try that I haven't yet. Maybe you could and let me know how it turns out. But I'm wanting to buy the big gallon of a liquid 40 volume cream developer. It's the same stuff, but it's not a cream, it's a, a liquid. And uh, I'm wanting to get me a tub that fits just, just big enough that school will go in, that I, a metal one, that I can boil it in. And I want to boil, I'm going to wrap antlers up and boil the actual school in that liquid stuff. Because I think that it would work better. Get it wider quicker. You could probably boil it one time and it'd just be white. Instead, on this, you have to do it two or three times, you know, and it takes a little bit of time. But, like today, it's um, raining outside. It's a weekend. I ain't got much to do. I ain't really ain't got nothing to do except lay around the house, so. This ain't no problem. So. I'm painting this one here, and 
what I normally do is I, see, I'm painting everywhere I can get to right now. And then I flip the skull over and I do the bottom and all of that just because, like I said, it takes time. But you would get up into the nose cavity. You mainly want to get this, the front. I mean, the nose, the eyes, the all this front because that's what people are going to see in the sides. So bottom's not as big of a deal. But uh, anyways, now I'm just going to let it sit and. Uh, We'll come back and see what it looks like here in a little while. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know how long it'll take. And then we can pop another, put another coat on it. And uh, we'll see what it looks like then. Well, hey guys. it's uh, It's been a couple of days since I did the first half of this video. And like I said, it wasn't a very long one anyways. But uh, I've got this deer head all the way done. I'm just outside. I got it sitting in the sun to kind of dry. And I guess that's the final tip that I want to give you. If you're using this same peroxide stuff that I am, when you wash it all off with the water and clean it up, when you let it to dry, let it dry, I found that if you if it's a sunny day, if you let it set in the sun, that that sun actually kind of whitens it up even a little bit more just there at the end. So maybe if you've got you know you've got it because every school is a little bit different. I've noticed some of them aren't don't get as white as others. And maybe if you're wanting it just a little bit wider, wash it off, set it in the sun, and it might perk up to be exactly how you want it to be. So um, I'm going to come over here. I got it set in the sun, like I said. I'm going to do a quick little pan of it. And I guess that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching it all.